Still trying to possess Morte, huh? Yeah, I know what you mean. Huh? No, because she was poisoned. <sighs> yeah, it's serious, all right. Morte. Fear is not coming down at all. Tantmore, what's going on in there? You're right, she does. But we need an antidote. <sighs> I agree, I'll put it at the nearest port. Yeah, our saw bones won't be much help. There's no disease, it's a curse. Oh, it's a curse, not poison, huh? Well, I guess Tyler would have been venom with how it was delivered. Hmm. That ain't good enough for me. We got cure somehow. After all, curses can be lifted. How? Wooly will know. He knows everything medical, even about curses. You might know him as Elephus Rex. Hey, we can cure her. It's probably him. So let's just walk up to a Beast Lord and ask for help. Well, he's one of the few Beast Lords you can trust, but he'll try to guilt trip you into committing suicide later. Yeah, we have to. Oh, I'm well aware there's bounties on our heads. How many Beast Lords have we killed? You think they'll want to help us? I'll beg if I have to. You may not listen, but I'm going to try. Please, Aachen. And it's not like we have any better options. <sighs> You're right. Elvis' Rex is quite dangerous, but he doesn't like to fight, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, let's go to Mion. Where we can see our new bounties, hopefully. Who's there? Ah, uh, got jumped ahead, huh? Ah, uh, Lavery, it's been a too long. Have you come with Felix Rex? No, she's come with the World Annihilation Front. That's who she came with. Yes, quickly. I'll hear the details later, young man. I always do. Thank you. You'd think he'd be more about having the Scarlet Plague in his clinic, though. Yeah, so much for being careful. He's one of the few Beast Lords that doesn't suck, you know. Sort of like Ursa Rex. I know, it's a very short list of Beast Lords that don't suck. Is done. Now, all she needs is rest. Well, good. She'll be alright? Yes. Though it was perilously close, not even the Scarlet Plague could withstand the curse of Serpent's Rex. Oh, you even recognize it, huh? You knew who she was, and you still treated her. I treat all who come through my doors, criminal or otherwise. Yeah, you don't discriminate. Such is the nature of my work as a doctor. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. Not me. How can you be sure? I saw how worried he was when he saw her. He did all he could to help. Ah. Uh, That's enough to earn him my trust. The eyes, huh? <sighs> You're right to give it to him, Kyrie. It's too bad we still have to kill him later. So can I. Well, he did save her. Your trust is most warmly appreciated. Please, rest here for the night. You will be safe. I'll see to it that a room is made ready. Yes, a room. Um, let's see. Who are you? Yeah, I know, it's a weird place. Can't go up there. We have a stairwell, but it's off limits. Why a long face, kid? I know she'll be just fine. We were just talking about it. I know, it's very weird. 
Can I leave yet? Ah, uh, can't leave yet. That ain't our room. Who are you? Walking again, huh? See why I should have to share a room with some human. Well, no one said the patients weren't racist. There's no, 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 all those Rex can't cure. Besides a broken heart. <laughs> yep, he makes everything go away, just about. Okay, who are you? I imagine he would be. You know, as a man messing, he can't bear to see those around him suffer. He's a model physician, and they hate him for it. She did, huh? Yeah, I imagine she would. Being alone in the hospital sucks. Morte. Uh, hi, Kyrie. I um almost died. All right. K Kyrie? Hey. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. I can barely move. I'm going to assume they're hugging. We just can't see it. Cause seriously. Jeez. Not for you, Morte. You're important to me. Huh? Ah, yes. I don't know what I would have done if you didn't get better. Just the thought of losing you was terrifying. Oh, man. The sappy stuff on things we already know. Now that you're all better, I'm crying. Ah, yes, tears of joy. It's silly, right? Kind of. I mean... I'm sorry, Kyrie. I didn't mean to worry you. Morte. Sounds like I owe you one. Well, more like you owe Elvis Rex one. You saved my life after all. You don't owe me a thing. Think of how many times you saved me. <laughs> oh man, you've just screwed yourself, Kyrie. <laughs> You're right about that. Water under the bridge. Oh no, it's not. If this were Ogden. I'd never hear the end of it. Not that this surprises me coming from Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> well. What are you laughing about? Oh, nothing. Okay. I thought I'd drop by to check up on you. I hope I'm not interrupting. That was a bit rushed. Recovered so quickly. Yeah. They build a sand tribe girl's tough. Like a Ford. I believe it. Still, you mustn't rush things. Take it easy today. Hmm? Good luck with that. Kyrie, perhaps we should let her rest. Oh, of course. Sorry. Hey. I love that walking animation, not stopping there. I don't think I actually said it before, but thanks. You're welcome, Morte. Yeah, I don't think Morte's ever thanked anyone before. Weird. The world must be ending. <laughs> it's one of the signs. Oh, don't worry about it. He helps everybody. I suppose it's probably appreciated. Whether your caring administrations also helped hasten her recovery. I barely did anything. It's baffling. What? When someone such as yourself seeks to destroy the world? That's my job. I can't help it. I was born to destroy this world. 
No, no, the world is very, very ugly. Lest we forget, you know, where we had to go near the part, start of this game, you know, to a ruin filled with, you know, dead bodies. <laughs> That's why you're gonna have to stop us at some point. Trust me, Alpha Rex, it's coming. Have you considered, Kyrie? If the world is destroyed, you and Morty will be lost along with it. Yep, here comes the guilt trip. Oh, you won't, will you? Do you want? What do you wish to protect, and what does that require? Well, it's gonna require destroying most of the Beast Lords and defeating God. Yeah, we, we gotta defeat God. Because you always have to defeat God in video games, right? It's just one of the requirements. Yeah, I know she does. Okay, let's go bug um everyone else. So we can trigger the uh, Golden Lions showing up, I guess. Who are completely useless. Yeah, I already did that. Oh, me get rest? Where would I go rest? Like, seriously, where's my room at? I guess it's right there. Fine. Letter. I wonder how this got here. Prone isolation, front eyes only. Like a progress demands a reissue of your orders. Slay the golden earth. No further delays will be accepted. Move on to the Tower of Earth at once. Oh, we're back, all right. What's gotten to you? Looks like your jaw's about to fall off. Um, what's that? Orders from the boss. Looks that way. There's nobody here when I found the letter, though. They're everywhere. And they're nowhere. Another one who finds it a little suspicious. And what's with these orders? Kill the next primal chop chop. Man, it all sounds so easy. Hmm, what's wrong, Kyrie? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. What are we waiting for? Kyrie? Uh, we're waiting for, uh, Morte. Darn it, I don't know why I said Kyrie first. But Morte should be good to go. Yeah, let's go see, alright. She's probably gonna be like, why haven't you fulfilled the orders yet, you idiots? Huh. <sighs> yeah, morning, alright. Oh, I'm sure. So I do anything I felt up to. Well, he would know. Yeah, we have to make off for all that missed destruction. Yep, back to normal, alright. Yep, ready. Well, I guess we can do that. Boom. Golden lions, right? Because I know they show up here at some point. Yep. There they are. Why aren't you guys want to fight him? Ugh. Please keep your voice down. This is a hospital. A hospital, more like a butcher shop for running human experiments. No, it ain't. Where'd you even hear that rumor? <sighs> so, uh, foul targets are attacking hospitals now. And Morte too? Yeah. This is the last place I expected to run into you. I could say the same. You sent no word after you escaped the sky jail. Well, why should he? Now I hear rumors you've joined the world annihilation front. They're not rumors. It's a long story. That's Karna, the leader of the Golden Lions. And a grade A idiot. Anyway, what's all this about a butcher shop? Haven't you heard? They perform experiments on humans here. The director's a feral, worse, a beast lord. His kindness is a facade. No, it really isn't in his case. I hate to 
disappoint you, but he actually checks out. He even saved Mort's life. They treat people from the whole region. You should go in and talk to some of them yourself. You'll be surprised. Do you hear the words coming from your mouth? Yeah. Well, this one ain't worth fighting. If the truth is betrayal, then I'm a traitor. Man, that should have been a quip, damn it. <laughs> your interest in the truth end when it doesn't suit your needs. <laughs> Step aside. Please don't make me fight you. Ouch. I never thought I'd hear such words from our second. Well, I'm not your second anymore. I don't mean to stand in our way. I don't mean to stand in anyone's way. But if you want to do this, you'll play by my rules. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> oh man, you're screwed now. You've changed, Hagen. You both have. I'll take that as a compliment. So long, Carla. Ugh, all that just to save face. Well, he's apparently outgrown them. That's why it worked. None of us would have been able to stop them. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. That guy didn't have the salt to face a beast lord. So Agen here stepped in and played turncoat. Garna saved face. Nobody got hurt. Pretty smart, really. Well, you give me way too much credit. I'd long since given up being their second anyhow. You're sure? I like to think I've outgrown them. <laughs> I've been betrayed by humans and helped by pharaohs. Things change. I suppose they do. Not that I agree with the world annihilation front either. I think I'll follow Topi's lead and go with the flow. That's not a bad plan. Meaning? For now, I do what I've been doing. Keep an eye on trouble matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're done. Let's say our goodbyes and hit the road. Yes, the road. Oh, yeah. Don't get the wrong idea. I did that for them. So if you want to call it a favor, let's say it squares us for Mort. <laughs> then gladly. Yep, she'll take care all right, as she leads us to the end. Oh, now what? The problem is it's not a mistake, we can't avoid this. Like, even if we were killed, we just get resurrected. <laughs> no, it's not. But him having emotions definitely gets in the way of doing his job. <laughs> okay. Let's head back to... Oh yeah, we gotta go to the Autumn Isle for that, but... Yeah, I wanna stay here for now. Head to the Bloody Wharves. Okay. After all, I wanna take a look at the Bounty Posters. Finally. Okay, let's open them up. Looks like this. Posters tell me. Okay. Dark Chef Kyrie. Sword of Chaos Morte. Blood Warrior Topi. <laughs> it looks so stupid. 
but you know we haven't raised Akin's level enough to get him a poster. Sad part is Topi's probably gonna be stuck with that one for a while because we're probably gonna put Rhea in the party. <laughs> Poor Topi. Yeah. Um, roster. Yeah, we can't take out Kyrie ever. He's too important to the story. He's stuck there. Well, that'll do it for uh, this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.